Hey guys, this is Arabu, and today we're going to be doing the Brewfast achievement, and we'll be getting the title of the Brewmaster. First of all, you want to head to Stormwind or Capital City and pick up the quest. Once you've got the quest, head just outside Ironforge, and you'll be able to hand in the quest receiving a drink with a certain sort of battle. I took the internet and crit one, but it's totally up to you where you want to take. The first achievement we're going to go for is known as the Brewfast Diet. This requires you to track around the Brewfest area, picking up different foods from different vendors, eating sausages, cheese and pretzels. So the vendors you got to buy from are by the funny shaped tents, uh, the one you get the pretzel from, the other you get the cheese from, and the last one you pick up six sausages from. Um, they're not too hard to find as you can see in the video, so it won't take you more than a couple of seconds to do this achievement and get straight into the next one. These foods do count towards other achievements that require you to eat foods in World of Warcraft. Um, as you'll see in a minute, I got the achievement Tastes Like Chicken. I can't actually remember what Tastes Like Chicken does, but I'm sure it's for eating 50 or 100 different types of foods around the World of Warcraft. There's the achievement. And there is the Brewfest Island. Next, we're going to be going for the Dark Iron Dwarves. After the Dark Iron Dwarfs, you have to wait around the Brewfest area for them to pop up in their mole machines or whatever it's called, and drink the free beer on the side, throw in the mug at the Dark Iron Dwarfs that pop up. Now, this is a nice simple achievement and you get to get some free beer. Unfortunately it doesn't get you too drunk. So there is a downside of this achievement, but it's a nice simple one anyway and it's quite fun throwing some mugs around and knocking out some dwarfs. As you can see, I've already got the achievement, but I still put this in because it does count towards the Brewmaster. Next is the Brew of the Month. Does your Warp Tinga Linga and have Keg will travel. Now, I haven't been able to buy the things needed for Brew of the Month and Does your Warp Tinga Linga because you must pay 200 tokens each for the membership and 200 for the pet itself to get the achievement. You also have to buy the hops for the Hab Keg or Travel, which only costs two tokens, so it's not too expensive, and you can get that out of the way very easily. Lastly, I've left you with Diabrew Fest, which is the dungeon achievement. Um, this boss does drop some seriously good items in Mr. Pandera. Um, I did pick up, even though I didn't pick up in this video the trinket that did drop, I did pick it up later on when I did level 90 and it works very well in my gear, some very nice stats and it is a really good trinket. They are some really good other drops though so keep coming in this dungeon even if even after you've done the daily for you and got the satchel itself because there are some goods here that you might find useful. And that's all I got to share with you today guys. I'd like to thank you for watching this video. Continue to watch for the satchel opener at the end. It only gives you tokens but I'm sure there's some other things in there that might pop up ray or might pop up in time. So keep doing your dailies every day, make sure you grab the Wolf of Tinker Pet and the Brew of the Month Club. And I will catch you guys for the next part of what a long strange trip has been. I've been Aaron Boom and thank you for watching.